Today our guest is Elnur Majidli, a well-known blogger and journalist who lives now in France. I want now to ask my first question. A criminal case has been launched against you in Azerbaijan. Are you aware of it? Yes, of course I'm aware of it. How do you assess the opening of such a criminal case against you? The criminal case, I think it sounds ridiculous. The criminal case opened against me, the recent arrest in Azerbaijan. I suppose this all is aimed at suppressing the political climate, the positive atmosphere which we call awakening process and also aiming to restore the fear in society. You consider the criminal case as a threat for yourself? The criminal case against me, namely I am charged with calling for coup d'etat. I appeal to the French police with regard to it. I am protected now by the French security service. You know that it is said my name was submitted to Interpol. I suppose that the authorities will not be able to prove what crime or legal violation I committed. Most importantly, the French regime will not hand me over to Azerbaijan. So what about the recent developments in Azerbaijan? How is it seen from France? I attended parliamentary elections, then continued operating after coming back to France. The atmosphere that surfaced in Arabian countries moved to Azerbaijan. The right time for national awakening coincided with it. I think the process launched with our 11 March rally continued successfully. If you look at the social political situation before and after the 11 March, you will see the progress. Do the charges against you concerning coup d'etat coincide with your activities? No, I don't think we want coup d'etat. What do you want then? We criticize the society for not being ready for the process sometimes, but who will prepare the society for this? There was a need for protest against the problems in Azerbaijan education, health and military. We are protesting against this. We believe that the current ruling establishment, the parliament, were not elected legally. We have enough evidences to prove it. You mean the last parliamentary elections? Yes, the last parliamentary elections, the last presidential elections, as well as the referendum of the March 2009. All these processes contradicted the people's will. We demand more transparent and new parliamentary elections. Recently, several students have been fired from the university. Are there students that support your position in Strasbourg? And uh, have they been warned? Because in the United States of America, there were Azerbaijan students that have been warned. The recent steps of the authorities of Azerbaijan actually show how they are afraid of the youth abroad and uh, they try to keep them under control. As Strasbourg is a political city, there are many Azerbaijan students here with independent thinking. However, they are refraining somewhat. Some fear that their scholarship could be suspended, some think that their families in Azerbaijan could face pressures, and some fear problems that they could face upon their return to Azerbaijan. I understand them to some extent. Now, one of my last questions. Are you going to return to Azerbaijan in near future? And what do you want to say to your friends in Azerbaijan and citizens of Azerbaijan through our TV channel? I don't intend to return to Azerbaijan at present. That is what could be a present to Azerbaijan authorities. The arrest of the youth activists forms pessimism in Azerbaijan society. We witnessed it in the areas of our friends as well. Some protest actions are held. Getting arrested is very easy in Azerbaijan. We should protect ourselves from being arrested. At present, I suppose that I should not return to Azerbaijan and I should contribute to, to this process. As to my friends, I want them to keep strong. And because of you, a number of persons were invited to prosecutor's office. Yes, it happens every day, and today was not an exception. 
Maybe I will also be invited after this program and questioned, for example, how I know you. Yes, it's true. Most importantly, I see uh, no need for pessimism. When we kicked off this process, we knew that it would happen, it could happen. We need to remain strong, to keep optimism and be more determined. This type of development should enhance our motivation. We should not fear. We should protect ourselves, of course, but continue our activity. Thank you for the interview. Thank you.